you know, let me talk about this. I had saw a movie. And in the movie, it's called, um, I think it's called No Vacancy. And in the movie, what happened was it was this apartment. It was this apartment complex. And the people in the complex, pretty much they was branding people. They was branding people. So they would, they would scout for new, for new tenants. And when a new tenant come, they would brainwash them. First, they'll attack them, you know, through the night. They, they, you know, you be hearing all these noises, you know, the funny things be happening. So they'll get them like that first. Then they'll lure them in like that. And then they will um, start to torture them. You know what I'm saying? And so basically they put you in this padded room. In the movie, they put this girl in this padded room and she went she had to hold a position on the wall for hours and when the when the light on the wall went off she could rest right so they they went on they went in days in and days out like that just torturing her to where she couldn't take it no more right so in the meantime this is breaking down your brain this is this is working on your your psyche this is doing so much things right and so it got so bad to where she couldn't stand up no more that the man came in and nailed her hands to the wall. Meko Yeti my yo. Nailed her hands to the wall so she could stand up in the position. And because of all the, the book that they gave her with all this false doctrine that she read every day while she was in there. The man, the voice in the book became, became her God. And so... In her mind, she became so torn, so 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 brainwashed to the to the point where she started to um to hear the words coming out, like to hear the words in the book uh, as the man was speaking, like like the man was speaking. And so he said, "You can do it. You can do it." And so what she wound up doing was snatching. She snatched both of her hands out the wall with nails in them. Everybody in the whole facility had to go through the same thing she went through everybody had nails hammered into their hand they had to pull them they wound up yanking them out because it just got so bad and so what this did was this made them overcome mentally you know whatever it is or go through their little process or whatever it was a process at the end of the day right to get you to to be equipped or whatever whatever the case might be to, to, to make you strong mentally and all this crap. But pretty much they was being drilled with lies. It was like new age teaching. You know what I'm saying? And the man was, 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 was their God. The person over it was their God. Who they had to listen to. And so they wind up, everybody was branded. And it, was, it became this community. Right? So make a long story short. This is what we see today. The Bible says that. If you run, if you suffer with me, you will reign with me, right? And God's process, God got a process too. Just like the people in that movie had a process to condition them folks so they can control them. God has a process too. But, but God's process is tried and true. It's for equipping you. To be able to fulfill your ministry for the glory of God in the earth. It's going to get you salvation. It's going to get your soul saved, your mind, will, and emotions saved. It's guaranteed to get you into heaven. Your name's written in the Lamb's book of life. But it might, it's going to cost you your life for one. You might have to go through a lot of long suffering for two. You know, you might have to be in a partic in a predicament that I'm in. You might have to be homeless. You might have to ask. You might have to need people. People might talk about you and resent you and this and that. But God says once again, if you suffer with me, you shall reign with me. He also said in Romans 8.18 that the suffering of this present time 
is not to be compared with the glory that will be revealed in us. See, you want to go through man's process where you become a slave. That's what happened. They became branded and they was a slave to that one man listening to his voice, his voice playing in their head to where they yanked their hands out the wall with nails in them. Y'all will go through all that brutality and pain. Being a slave, slaving on a job, working nine to five for a paycheck to keep your little things. But you going to hell. Hey! But you don't want to endure God's process in order to go to heaven. Oh, that's just too much. God want to, you got to do all that. That don't make no sense. What kind of process she in? She ain't walking with God. God hears you. He hear you. But he the only one can give you salvation. He the only one can save you. So. You gain the whole world, but you lose your soul. Where you going? We need to get this. Stop letting Satan brand you and give your life over to Christ today. Seek ye first the kingdom and his righteousness so all them things that you think you want could be added unto you. Let God process you. Endurance produce patience. Patience produce character. That's what God is doing, building character. And that's what they so-called was doing in the movie. But for what? For death? Because that's what's going to happen in the end. There's a way that seems right to a man. But the end is death. Hey, God! Get God! Be blessed.